Yes, I, I know who you are. I already know who you are. So it's, uh, it's very, very oh, nice really? to meet you. Of course. <laughs> okay, thank you. So first, I want to congratulate you that you just released your new single, Only In My Dreams. I know this song is about you and your mother. I'm very touched by the song because I'm very close to my mother too. <laughs> oh, you are? Okay, okay, that's yeah. good. I think I need a break from life and love. For me, the, the first song I ever wrote, I think I was maybe 13, 13 years old. And it wasn't very good. <laughs> when I think about it now, it was like, it wasn't a very good song, but it was called um, Don't Say Goodnight. And the song was, I wrote it when my first ever girlfriend found another guy. So she left me for another guy and I was, I was quite heartbroken. And so um, I just started writing the song and, and I found that writing songs made me feel a lot better. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know that story. I love your art and art. Uh, this song is about relaxing, give yourself some time to break. So I'm wondering, are you a workaholic or what inspired you to write this song? Uh, I don't I don't know if I'm as much of a workaholic as you, because I know you're always putting out new videos <laughs> and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I just, you know, ever since I started to release music, there hasn't really been much of a break. Every day, I'm always trying to think of new music to write or some videos to make. So I don't really have a lot of chance to just rest and relax, which is what R&R &R stands for, rest and relaxation. But uh, I'm really glad that you like that song because that song is just about chilling, you know? And I think that once in a while, yeah. we really just have to, we just have to chill and um, see, oh, see, you see, yeah. Um, for me also, I only use Tinder for maybe, maybe like two months. That's the maximum time I've ever used it. Um, but I spent a lot of time in America. That's where I went to school. So um, I noticed that there's a lot of people that actually use Tinder to meet new people and to um, just date, you know? So my one crazy story for me when using the application was when my my best friend and I we actually matched with the same girl so I don't know if you know how it works but <laughs> yeah so you swipe, swipe, swipe and then okay you know you know <laughs> yeah yeah but um yeah that that song is is about um really having a crush on somebody and that somebody not feeling the same way as you because they're so busy on the application and just dating around but they don't really see you for who you are which is the person that's always been there from the beginning yes uh, thank you for noticing about uh, the cover design that was something that I was really thinking about and um, I wanted to make it very special because every single month I'm releasing one brand new song and I was thinking to myself, how do I make everything into one piece? So the reason why I made every cover kind of similar is because every single one of my songs are about love, but it's about a different type of love. Uh, a different experience that I've had with love as well. Uh, so, for example, you have R and R, which is about more about like loving yourself, and then there's only in my yeah. dreams the song I just released, which is about loving loving our mothers. So, yeah. in the end, you know everything's kind of different, but it's all still one love. That's why I made it the same. Mm -hmm. Um, Berkeley was always my my dream school just because I for before I went I was thinking like 
is it really possible that there can be a school where all you do is music every day? You know, because um, I couldn't. Yeah, it was just I couldn't imagine anything else. That's all I wanted to do with my life is just be an artist and, and create music, be a songwriter. Um, so when I when I got to Berkeley, I was just it was a really really good experience. And when I think back to it now, I I really miss those times because it's been uh, one year since I've graduated from school. And I guess for me, what I think was really special about the school is that. You have people from all around the world. Um, like, for example, I had I had a lot of Taiwanese friends, um, Singapore, Indonesia, uh, even European, Australian, um, and then of course the Americans were there too. But everybody from around the world, they all had the same passion, which is music. And to be able to talk to people and spend time with them, like every single day. With people that love the same thing you do from around the world, that was that's special, and I think that's a once in a lifetime experience. Thank you. Sorry,、um, that was a long answer. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, I love I love your answers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I thought about it. Um, in way, 在学校我我学。我学呃中文差不多十二年，但是 my Chinese is still not good. My Mandarin is still not too not too amazing. I'm better at understanding than I am at speaking it. Um, so I think for me, writing a Mandarin song will be quite hard. But I've I've sung a lot of Mandarin songs before, and I really love the language. So. Um, I'm always happy to sing Mandarin songs, but I don't think I can write it. It's too hard to write. Ah,、oh, that's a very good question.、Um, so for me, I like to do two things. One is writing songs for other people, and the other one is writing songs for myself. And they're very, very different because when you write for other people. There are kind of、um, no rules. You can you can do whatever you want. You can write anything you want. But when you're writing songs for yourself, it becomes a lot more serious. I think for me, because you're you're writing songs that represent who you are. It's almost like choosing what you want to wear or putting on makeup. It's it's like you choose how you want the world to see you. So. When you write songs for yourself, I think there's a little bit more pressure.、Um, you become more hard on yourself,、uh, but but in the end, what I find is that writing songs for yourself is the most fulfilling thing, and it really, really brings a lot of joy to my heart and helps me to feel a lot better.、Uh, for for me, the my favorite part is definitely <laughs> writing the lyrics. Because I've always been、um, a music lover that always looks out for the lyrics first. You know, for me, the music is important too. Like I love the beat, I love the, I love the feelings. But, but if the song doesn't have lyrics that really can、um, hit my heart and go into my heart, then、um, it's hard for it to be my favorite song. You know, so. That's what I always try to focus on when I write my songs: is lyrics first, music second. Um, I know there are a lot of male artists that inspire you, like Love, Jeremy Zucker. So I'm wondering, is there any female artists that inspire you? Yeah.、Um... Yeah, wow! You you done your research about me, so you know who which artist I like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> When it comes to、yeah. female, like、uh, female artists, were a big part of、uh, me falling in love with music in the first place. So when I was younger, I used to listen to a lot of female artists. The first、um, female artist I ever listened to was like Britney Spears, for example. 
and then <gasps> yeah. and then over time you know, I, I just I started to grow as a person and and one of my favorite bands when I was growing up was a band called Paramore um, and oh, I love but you know that. you know <laughs> good 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 yeah, so you know their their lead singer is is so amazing, Billy Williams. And I just I just really um, grew up listening to a lot of female artists, and then over time I started to take more inspiration and influence from the male artists. Well, one of my dreams is actually to visit Taiwan. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I know how beautiful it is. I've seen the pictures, the videos, and Taiwanese food. I love so much. So I want to go to like, I want to go to the eat all the street food in Taiwan. You know. So really, really, I think one of the first places I want to go is actually Taiwan. <laughs> oh, you you knew what my answer was gonna be. Um, <laughs> what other things? So, I started to try to grow out my hair longer, which is which is very tough, tough process. Um, what else did I do? I I, I exercise a lot. Um, I spend more time with family. That's something that's really important to me. And yeah, for me, I'm always uh, what you call a homebody. I like to spend a lot of time at home and just just try to um, chill as much as I can whenever I can. So the pandemic hasn't been very, very hard on me. It's, I don't know, you, you look really, really young. So I don't know if you know this band, but um, there, there used to be this boy band and their name is called Blue. B-L-U-E. They're my favorite. They were my favorite at one point of time and and that was the first album I ever bought. Uh, I have I have too many songs that I like. Um, but I think one that I think is a really special song is actually by an artist you mentioned just now, Jeremy Zucker. He has this new song called uh, 18. And I think it's really cool. Thank you so much, Agnes. It's, yeah. it's very, Thank very you. fun. Yeah, I'm excited for your up, uh, upcoming album. Thank you. Yeah, great, great. Great to meet you and, and happy to be friends with you. And thank you for everything. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye, <laughs> Cool, cool. Are, are you a, a mm -hmm. designer too? Did you put that uh, Harry Potter design behind you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's a life's a struggle when you're a muggle. <laughs> muggle, nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I even have a in my toilet. It's like a ministry this way, you know, because one episode they went to the ministry, but they went to a toilet. They stand yeah, on the yeah. toilet and they just. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, so you're a big Harry Potter fan. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I am. <laughs> my oh, do you see my cat here? By the way, do you see this guy? Yeah, yeah, so cute. You know, you know, I have two cats, and one oh, yeah? of them they just like keep mailing outside. Then I say, no, I'm interviewing you, kid. <laughs> so I just keep him outside. <laughs> next time, if I next time, if cat, you... I'll, I'll, I'll like him. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Next time, if you interview me again, please show me your cat. I want to see. Yeah. Um. <laughs>